Hello there everybody, Michael Gray here, playing Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, along with Nathaniel Hoover. Howdy do. Nathaniel has not been seen since chapter number three. Actually, I wasn't even seen in chapter three, it was just my voice, my disembodied voice. Uh-oh, you're a ghost like Sissel. Ooh. So, um, you have a lot of catching up to do, I guess. We've had a kidnapping and a jailbreak and, um, stuff. That sounds like fun. I have this feeble hope that maybe somehow I can still avoid massive spoilers and, and play this game on my own at some point. But uh, I, I don't see that happening. I think you can, because when I replayed the game for this uh, video walkthrough, it had been like a year and a half after I first played the game, and I forgot all of this. This chapter in particular, chapter number 12, is the easiest chapter of the game. It's basically just exposition. You just talk hey, to people. some of these words are pretty big. Pretty hard to read, Michael. I know, but I'm saying you don't have to do any ghost tricks. That's what makes it easier. Ah, uh, okay. So it looks like the kidnappers had kid have kidnapped the wrong person. As kidnappers are wont to do. Crazy kidnappers. So I mean. So wait, is he was he talking with her, or yeah. was that separate? Um, Sissel and Lynn are now their buddies, I guess. He saved her life like three times or four times at this point, and so they can talk to each other. Oh, okay. One of those near-death experiences. She's still in touch with the other world, that sort of thing. Yeah. And he can also talk to this guy in red, but he's currently trying to pretend that there's no such thing as ghosts. I'd forgotten how much I like her character design. I mean, in general, the characters in this game are a lot of fun. Very memorable, very quirky. I wish I could get my hair to do that. He's upset about his wife, who is the lady in red. You <laughs> might remember her from chapter number two and three, right? The lady in red who's dancing with me? The lady in red who's writing um, a novel and drinking questionable beverages. Oh, that, that lady in red. Ooh-wee! Oh, and here's another character you should recognize. How did I know it was going to be him? Well, I mean, there aren't that many characters you can recognize, I suppose. <laughs> Just from their, uh, well, even though there's no voice acting, their, their uh, voice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, he's the only character who, like, spreads out his vowels. It's like a fine peanut butter spreadable vowels. Mm -hmm. And here is Detective Jowd, who has been like one of the main characters in the intervening chapters. Oh, he looks like Larry Butts in his painter phase. <laughs> Just gained some weight. Yeah. <laughs> he, he has been painting because that's all apparently you can do when you're on death row. What is it with the pink artist shirts? I mean, he and Larry both have the, the pink artsy shirt. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's meant to stand out. He is going to eventually, like, get a detective coat. You know, grungy old trench coat. But that's much later. I'm fine with this. Yeah, I mean, come on, cool. Nothing wrong with executing Detective Jowd, even though he's innocent. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I thought he meant universally. I only knew two things that are true, and these are only two things. No, I think it's just two things in this situation. Yeah, he captured him. You didn't see this, but he captured him right outside the prison. It was not a very... It was all part of my master plan. He's five feet away from the prison, he made it to the payphone, and then he got arrested. You 
pretty sure this chapter has puzzles in it at all. That's why I said it's the easiest chapter. Um, we talked to Lynn about everything, then we talked to Cabanella, and now we're going to talk to Detective Jowd about everything. Although I think I'm going to do a fun, optional conversation about the uh, Justice Minister, the, the guy in red. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a thing to do! This is a fun, optional conversation. We love it. <laughs> that background is just making me think of like magic school bus inside the human body with you know going through the intestine or something <laughs> it does but that's apparently what ghost world looks like when you're just having conversations ghost world is really just a school child's intestine okay Oh, is that how an execution works? You'd be surprised. They had trouble executing him in um, one of the previous chapters. They tried to kill him um, by the electric chair, but he accidentally died due to the electric chair malfunctioning. If that makes any sense. Whoa, watch your font size, buddy. Yeah, yeah, see? His daughter is the real murderer. He's just trying to cover for her. You know, I could also see an argument for that swirly background being more like uh, Gygus from Earthbound. Oh yeah, I know that. That was the bad guy in Earthbound. Oh yes. I, I think it's supposed to more represent like you're half dead and half alive and you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Except there's no light in this case. Yeah, there's no light it's in this case. Dark. We're firmly stuck inside the tunnel. We can't go through it. Hmm, there clearly are like little blobs of something traveling down the tunnel. Maybe those are other things dying. I don't know. <laughs> for your entertainment, sacrificing thousands of people just for this cool little visual trick in the background. <laughs> yes. Ah, here's an abandoned plot line. Don't remember this, Nathaniel. Uh, should I close my ears and plug yeah, my yeah. eyes or something? We'll, we'll never see them again. Oh, I see. Okay, you can start paying attention again, I think. Uh huh? I like how respectful of the storyline we're being for a change, instead of talking about 
I don't want to name anything specific because then we'll go off on a tangent about it, but uh, not going off on a tangent about anything as we are prone to do here at Game Cola. Yeah, I'm trying to be nice here. Um, not that that's necessarily a bad thing. We certainly have had some very entertaining digressions. We'll, we'll probably have a more interesting digression when there's more to talk about. Uh, I mean, this is all important stuff. Well, I, I just heard from one of the new writers, um, Joseph Martin. He says that when he's been watching these videos of Ghost Trick, he has not paid any attention whatsoever to our commentary. <laughs> really? Because the plotline is just that interesting. So whenever we get to a puzzle segment, he sort of realizes, oh wait, these guys are talking. <laughs> <laughs> because there's no longer cool, cool dialogue. Yeah, I, I am very pleased by the writing of this game that I've seen so far. It was very well translated, which um, makes me kind of sad that um, the previous year's game, the Miles Edgeworth game, was not as well translated. Of course, I think um, this game was translated into multiple languages, so that could explain why, because the Miles Edgeworth game wasn't. I'm not sure if that explains anything, but I mean, you know, they put more money into translation for this game. I feel like if you're going to ship a story-heavy game overseas, it's worth the money to actually invest in real translators. Yeah, but I mean, that was 2009, 2000... Yeah. <laughs> the Stone Age! Right, so they... <laughs> Ah, uh, whatever, we finished talking to Jald, we learned where the murder weapon is, and we learned that, uh, apparently somebody with ghost trick powers manipulated the crime scene. Cecil? He wasn't alive five years- wait, no, he was alive five <laughs> years ago. He's a backwards aging ghost. He's a ghost first, and then he is a, a person, and then he goes into a small child, and yeah. then is unborn. It works backwards in my head somewhere. Or maybe he just found the corpse of somebody who died five years ago and he traveled back in time five years. A time-traveling, backwards-aging ghost. Do, 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 do. Okay, ooh, yeah, we're really setting up the plot line here for the next two chapters. Cool. So, I mean, Lynn's going to go to the park, and that's going to be chapter number uh, 14, and then we have to do chapter number 13 right here. How many chapters are there in this game? Have we determined that yet? Yeah. Oh, it's a nut. It looked like a Yeah. Were you saying 18? Yeah, 18. 17 chapters and then a bonus chapter. Or they call it final chapter. Well, that's how I learned how to count. You yeah, know, count one 15, 16, 17, final chapter, 19, 20. Yeah. I also think it's the only chapter without a uh, specific time to it, unless I'm mistaken. We, we see at the beginning of every video, it says chapter number, whatever, what time the chapter takes place. But then chapter number final is different. So the justice minister refuses to cooperate. He, he is so worried about the potential of his daughter being kidnapped that he just can't think straight. Wow, I could not read that dialogue and I thought he was saying, can I have one of your body parts? And that's just not at all what that sentence was going for. No, he was asking if he could have one of the guys bring a van. And we have the Where did that chair come from? <laughs> Fun fact, that chair is never going to appear again. <laughs> when we return to this room, the, the chair is mysteriously gone and Cabanella's just standing up. 
Did he take it with him? Is it like in, in his adventure game pants? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't sing along with the music. Um, yeah, we're going to the Red Lady's apartment. We just want to double check that the girl has not been kidnapped. Hey, you. You been kidnapped? <laughs> I don't think he needs to double check. I mean, he knows she hasn't been kidnapped, but... It's always good to double check, I suppose. Oh man, for a second I thought it was Clown Man from Mega Man 8 popping out of the bed. <laughs> that was just terrifying. Mistaken ridden abduction? I guess lots of people were mistaken about various things. They were. They kidnapped the wrong person. That's that's a. Big oh, thing. that's right. Because that's what. But mistaken, ridden, mass ah, semantics. Um, there there were other mistakes with the kidnapping too. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> 